project files in Photoscape X. That's what we're talking about today. My name is Nathan Collins. Let's begin. A project file is when you save a project and then you're able to come back to it and make edits and adjustments later as if you were still like in that first session of editing that project. Let me show you what I'm talking about. In Photoscape X, you go over here to like the viewer and you can see different images and things like that. And like this image here looks really nice. You know, I put it together. It's a thumbnail for one of my YouTube videos. But let's say I wanted to tweak it or move it or things. If you have saved it just as a normal picture, it's all stuck there and nothing's going to be able to be moved. Nothing's going to be able to be changed. But if you were first editing it for the very first time, this is what it might look like where if I zoom way out here, you can see there's this background image that I have turned to the side. I have the different images here, the text, some different images on the side to kind of support, you know, what the video is talking about. But if I click here, like on this first image here, um, I can move the photos around and I can click on the text and I could add a long shadow or I could add a, some kind of uh, gradient effect or some kind of uh, pattern to the text or some way to make it look maybe a bit better or different uh, depending on what I was looking or going for and I can move it all around and it's really nice to be able to do that but what happens if you know I come back a few days from now and I say hey I wish I could you know make a tweak or an edit or a change that's what project files are all about because in this type of editing it's so common to make a slight mistake. Maybe you spelled something wrong. Maybe something just doesn't look quite right. Maybe when you finally get the finished product, it just doesn't uh, work. Let me show you what you do. So over here in more or the save option as well, but I usually hit more. You can hit save as or well, you can hit save, save as and project. If you hit save, that's just going to save it over the original image which you probably aren't going to want to do save as so then you can name it so you can name it as whatever you want it to be uh, we'll just do test and i'm just going to save this to desktop so we can find it quickly later so we got that saved over uh, the thing is if you go and you open that image we can go over here to desktop we can find that image open it up it's just going to be stuck like that if you hop into the editor, it's all going to be just a normal image. But if you go over here to editor, you can go and hit save as and over here, save as project. So you hit save project right here. Then we're able to save it. Uh, we'll do uh, project save. All right. So then we have that saved. Then what happens is Let's uh, close completely out of Photoscape. This takes a little bit longer than a normal one, but you close out of Photoscape, you turn your computer off, you turn it back on, you know, you go weeks and weeks and weeks away, but then you think, wait, I want to actually go back and do that project again. When we go back in, we can go back to that original image going over here to the viewer and we have this one, which is just a normal image. If we were to click this and open it up in the editor, it's all just the same, just an image. But if you go over here to the project file, which is this one, you can see in the name here, it says project save, uh, and it's a PSXPRJ uh, file type. You open that up, you go over and you hit edit, and you hop into it, and the image is still there, fully editable, where you're able to move the images around, the text, everything. Uh, so that's what I would encourage you guys to do. I The reason I'm making this video is because I got a message this morning from someone who said, hey, uh, we saw one of your posters you made back in 2018. We'd love for you to uh, you know, maybe update it a little bit for our new year to be able to adjust it to like the dates and the stuff for this year. But we'd love to use that poster. And I said, Oh, that's awesome. I, you know, make so many posters and stuff. I didn't save that one as a project file. So I'm going to have to recreate a lot of it from scratch. So this is just a reminder to you use project files as much as physically possible. If I go over here to my favorites tab, uh, PSX temp is what I use here. If I go over here just to projects files, I have a hundred project files saved 
in uh, this tab and a lot of them are thumbnails and thumbnail designs thumbnail templates that I've saved as uh, project file so I can always go back and maybe use a similar template again so let's say if in the future I did a Photoscape versus maybe a different software like GIMP or something like that I could put that in there and it wouldn't take me as long as if I was like oh man I gotta go and remake the whole thing over again so hopefully that video uh, this video has been helpful for you and I'll see you all in the next one bye